Libra, hi. So um, this is going to be a reading for January 2020. And um, I'll start it off with a oracle card from the Mystical Shaman Oracle, which I will be reading for you out from the book because I want you to get the whole message there. And uh, then I'll be going into the reading and then I'll be closing it off with two more oracle cards for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended at the end of the video. You can check it out in the description box below if you want. And let's see what the shaman has for you. Oh, you get flow. Let's see what that's about. Flow. What else? Uh, let's see. Flow. When flow comes to visit, it's a sign that your intentions have been in motion. Now is the time to allow nature to run its course. You are being called to effortless movement. Huh? To effortless movements and the path of least resistance. It's like being with mu huh. It's like being within music, flowing within partnership. Think of the artist who creates without goalie or craft, calling creativity up from the soul and bringing it to life without effort. You are called to be like a river, knowing the fulfillment of destiny is assured. Enjoy the ride. What have you been manifesting, Libra? You've been manifesting something and it's happening. Okay. You just gotta wait for it. Wait for it. Alright, Libra, let's take a look. See how Libra is starting off the year. Smooth, I hope. Smooth right for Libras. The overall energy for the reading, the Page of Pentacles, you may be learning about some new things, you know, you never, you never learn enough. So you're like, okay, we need to learn something more about something. And my guess is uh, manifesting things. Um, starting off the reading, you get the Eight of Pentacles crossed by the Ten of Swords. I feel like you've been working a lot to get out of this. You know, anxiety, sense of feeling defeated, sense of feeling like, oh my God, this is crap. It's not going anywhere. I need a better this. I need a better that, you know. Um, so you've been working a lot on this lately to get out of this kind of state. Depression even for some. Uh, your focus. Ooh, interesting. Your focus right now is the Ace of Cups. It's this offer of love. Either somebody's coming towards you. Uh, open arms and you know you're thinking about this or you're considering going to offer this love to someone in your recent past mutual love there was a situation where there was love here um, your strength right now is the wheel of fortune you're hoping and I feel like you're starting to see that things are starting to change for the better. Coming up for you in the immediate future, there is a little bit of a sense of, hmm, I don't like this aspect about my life, or I don't like this shirt anymore. I want to change the way I dress. I want to change this or that or whatever, you know, kind of like, hmm, yeah, no, I don't like that about some sort of an aspect. You know, about yourself, about your life, something. What's supporting you right now is this transformative kind of energy. <laughs> the energy that surrounds you and you may not be aware of it. You're manifesting stuff. I told you. You're manifesting something and it's coming your way. Uh, what you're hoping for is... Get 
getting away from something. Not really sure what yet. Because it's... We'll see. We'll see when we clarify. Um, for your potential outcome, Four of Pentacles, you might be holding on to something a little too tight here. You know? Let's uh, clarify things. Let's clarify this Page of Pentacles. This again, so you're kind of learning here to um, let go of control, which is actually very, very hard, a, a very hard thing to do. Uh, when it comes to what you really, really want in this lifetime, you know, we all have some sense of controlling the outcome, like how we would want uh, for things to end up here in a situation, right? So... It's looking like in regards to whatever it is that you're really, really wanting, um, you're releasing control over that. Kind of like, I'm learning how to uh, let go of control. Especially when it comes to things that I really, really want to happen. And that's really hard to do. So it's looking like you're there. You're in this process of... I'll just let the universe handle it. You know, if it's right for me, it's going to come my way in whatever shape or form it wants to come. Right? So that's where you're at with that. Uh, let me clarify this Ten of Swords. Yeah, this is in regards to, so a person, your emperor here, really, really hurt you, right? Uh, it taught you really valuable spiritual lessons, also this connection. But it brought you a lot of sadness, a lot of sense of feeling defeated, a lot of burdens. But um, without this, you know, we wouldn't want to climb up into this you know, into changing something about ourselves or our lives for the better, right? Imagine being happy all the time. What? Why would you need to change that? No, you have to go through the pain, unfortunately, you know, to see that, man, I can change this. You know, I don't have to feel like this. Why the hell would I? And I feel like you've uh, worked on that, but it did come from this connection. Let's clarify the Ace of Cups. Yeah, using your intuition. Using your intuition, do not forget how to do that, because that actually is only going to change things for the better here when it comes to this new love in your life, right? And um, I feel like it's also going to teach you here, as long as you use your intuition, um, you're going to be willing and ready to stand up for what it is that you believe in, right? When it comes to love, when it comes to pretty much everything in your life, but especially love. Let's clarify the Wheel of Fortune. See, don't let sadness drag you away from staying in the present moment. What, what, what did the flow, you know, from the flow. Don't let sadness do that because we have this tendency of going back to the past, thinking about, you know, nostalgic things and sadness and happiness and all of that. And we forget to be in the freaking present moment. And sometimes you have this tendency of probably looking a little too much at the things from the past and that's actually going to create a little bit of resistance 
to what's actually going on in your life because things are changing here in your life and you might miss that by holding on to the sadness you know so learn to stay here and go with this wheel don't stay here because this is just self de self deception here uh you know stick into the past instead of being in the present moment so let's clarify the four of cups in the immediate future for you you're uh you're <laughs> you're seeing results here i feel like you're getting out of your head more and more kind of like I need to stop doing this because it's creating a lot of sadness in my life. So I don't need this kind of sadness. And you're becoming more and more empowered and more and more successful in doing that. You know, just get out of your head. And you're, you're starting to do that. Let's clarify the judgment. See, no more pain. Instead of jumping into, oh my God, I feel so much pain and things like that. You're done with that crap, right? Instead of doing that, you're just going to take a step back and try to look at things from a different perspective, right? Like hanging upside down from a tree would show you things in a different perspective. All right. So that's what you're doing. That's what you've learned. You're done with jumping to, oh my God, it feels so bad. I, I'm hurting. It sucks. Ooh, mm. No, it's not the case. You can just look at things in a different way. You know, you can find something in the most painful situation, something that's uh, good also. So I feel like that's what you're learning. Let's clarify the magician in the hidden energies. Yeah, you're manifesting this love back here. You know, you're manifesting your person uh, here to come back to you. Um, and I feel like they're feeling that and it's creating a lot of conflict. Kind of like, where the hell did this come from? Why am I thinking of my Libra all of a sudden? Or why do I feel this? Like, I want to go and be with my Libra now and things like that, you know? Um just be a little mindful on how you do manifest someone. Uh, but you are trying to manifest this love back into your life here. Let's clarify the Seven of Swords. Yeah, you're going to play a little bit hard to get. This person will come in, you know, and it's going to happen pretty sudden, pretty fast. They're going to want stability here. They're going to want commitment. And I feel like you're going to, you might play with it a little bit when they come. Kind of like, yeah, no, I don't really want this. And then, oh, but wait, maybe I do. You know, so uh, don't do that. Do whatever you feel is right. But this is actually just playing with somebody and it's pointless. I mean, no matter how much they hurt you, I feel like you've put in a lot of work enough so that you don't get to do this. But your first instinct would be to play a little bit with this energy when they come in, you know. Let's clarify the Four of Pentacles for the potential outcome. You know, uh, when usually if we have a tough experience with a connection, right, um, we tend to think that it's hard to be happy eventually. And you're holding on to this idea that it's really, really hard to get to this place of feeling happy. And it might be, but it's going to be different every time. So by you holding on and 
coming into something with an energy of it's hard to be happy, uh, it's going to create that hardship on the connection. And it's going to prevent it to get to that happy place naturally. Flowing. It is about flow with you, apparently. So I feel like there's a little bit of you holding on to this kind of energy. Oh my God, it's so hard to be happy with somebody. And again, might be the case. I don't know. But you're manifesting that. You know, and you're bringing that into a connection. And that's only going to make things hard for the connection. Whatever. If it's new, if it's old, doesn't matter. You know, those thoughts will manifest. So, uh, yeah. Um, try to detach yourself from that. Because there's a little bit of you hanging on to this energy. So, uh, go into it with whatever. Let's see what happens. You know, why come into it like, oh, this is never going to happen. Well, it's never going to happen if you're thinking that. Or, oh my God, it's so hard to be happy. It's going to be freaking hard to be happy. Right? So, uh, let's see. Let me pull some cards from the universe for you. I feel like you've done a lot of work and you're learning a lot. And... <laughs> On the side there, you're manifesting this person and apparently they're coming. So don't sabotage that with things like, oh, this is going to be so hard. You know, just see what it is. Libra, always, always transformative kind of energies here uh you're capable of this kind of energy right of somebody that sees something they want it they go get it uh and you're acting a little bit like this like um yeah i see that i like it hmm should i go get it no the king doesn't do that the king is like i like it they don't even think about liking it they just go get it you know with you it's like hmm mm -mm. Mm -mm. you're the king you have this potential you know so don't act like this try to be a little bit mindful of this because i feel like this is another thing that you're working on with that uh temperance card being here all right libra uh let me close it off here with two more oracle cards Right, so from the spirit of the animals oracle you get the cat independent you are a natural healer your intuition is strong you don't have to go with the crowd life supports you in every way you got you and a lot of other people uh oracle of the fairies says protect your dreams you are the guardian of your precious dreams and they are safe in your care. Keep them close to your heart until you're ready to release them. All right, so these are the messages that came through for you. You're still transforming here. You're still um, growing. There's a lot of growth that you're going through, but it's good. It's all good. The end results are looking pretty good. You know, if you don't let yourself slip into that whole... Ooh, this is not happening. Yeah, it is happening. It's transformative. Go with it. Flow. Go with the flow. All right, Libra, that's what I have. I hope this helped, and I will see you next time. Uh, Happy New Year.